Welcome back to Pet Rock Theater. Tonight's episode, Grandpa Smooths Things Out. Grandpa, how come you're so smooth and I'm so rough? Why, you just haven't undergone much erosion yet. Erosion? <laughs> Here, let me show you. When I was your age, I was a little rough around the edges, too. But after millions of years of sand, wind, and waves pounding on me, I got smoother. You will, too. Wow! You mean I'll be smooth like you? Righty-o. <laughs> will I have a gray beard and red iron oxide streaks, too? Uh, if you're lucky. <laughs> 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 when it rains, the water that falls erodes the earth. Here's an experiment you can do to see how erosion works. Put some damp sand in a container like this. Dump it out like you're making a sand castle. Nice move. Put a quarter flat on top of the sand. Sprinkle some water on top of the sand very gently. Very, um, what did you say again? I said gently. Oh, yeah. See, the sand washes away in every place except underneath the coin. The coin is like a plant or a tree in the forest, or a really hard rock, which helps prevent erosion. When there's something holding the soil in place, it doesn't erode as fast. The seed that this tree is growing from landed in a tough place a long time ago. Now, right now, the roots up here are holding back rocks and soil. And the roots down here are strong enough that as they grow, they can split rock apart, helping break it down into soil for other plants to grow in. See, this tree is holding back soil, but the rock is still eroding away. So in one way, the tree is slowing erosion down, but in another way, it's speeding erosion up. See, living things are part of the process. Tonight on MacGoober, MacGoober is trapped in an abandoned warehouse, but don't think he's licked yet. I'm not licked yet. Erosion. Now I just have to sit back and wait for erosion to dig through the floor. McGoober. Another 10,000 years ought to do it. Don't miss McGoober on ITV right after. As the wind blows across the high desert, it picks up sand. The sandy wind erodes these rocks. A highly magnified view of several sand grains shows their sharp cutting edges. Such hard quartz grains cut into solid rock when blown across its surface. Since the wind can only pick the sand up so high, it only erodes the rock so far. We call these mushroom rocks. They're formed by wind erosion. 